Next, we'll cover utilities and special processing. You can modify IDs for general ledger accounts, customers, vendors, and many other items if you want to change the way you identify these data records. When you change an ID, all data records, historic transactions, and new transactions associated with the changed record will reflect the new ID. The Change ID button is located on the toolbar found in various maintenance windows. Select a record in the maintenance window and click this button to open the Change ID window. The current ID for the selected record appears in the top field. Enter the new ID for the selected record in the bottom field and click OK to accept the change. Next, you can easily create a new record while entering a transaction. When you enter an ID that does not currently exist, the field will turn blue and flash three times. You can continue to enter the transaction detail. When the transaction is saved, an invalid ID message appears giving you options for creating the new record. Selecting Fast Add will add the record automatically using the default settings. Selecting Setup will open the appropriate maintenance window and allow you to manually add and save the record. Next, we'll talk about voiding transactions. You can void sales invoices, credit memos, vendor payments, and paychecks. When a transaction is voided, a new transaction is created using the same reference number plus the letter V at the end of the reference. This new transaction reverses the entry made by the original transaction to the general ledger. To void a transaction, click the Delete button on the toolbar and then click Void. Checks can be voided by selecting Tasks, Void Checks, or by selecting the Void button on the toolbar. The Void Existing Checks window is used to void each check. Sales invoices can be voided in cases where the invoice was entered in error and you want to have an audit trail for the invoice. To void a sales invoice, select the Delete button from the Sales Invoicing window. Next, click the Void button. The Void Existing Invoice window opens, allowing you to enter the void date for the invoice. Click OK to void the invoice. Next is Account Reconciliation. Any account in Peachtree can be reconciled using the Account Reconciliation window. To access this window, select Tasks, Account Reconciliation. The Account Reconciliation window shows unclear transactions that have debited or credited the selected account through the end of the current accounting period. You can use this window to reconcile the transactions entered in Peachtree to your bank statement for the account. As you clear transactions reported on the bank statement, the unreconciled difference will approach zero. Once the unreconciled difference equals zero, the account is reconciled. Additional transactions such as bank service charges can be added to the general ledger while you are reconciling the account using either the Adjust button or the fields on the main window. In Peachtree Complete Accounting and Higher, you can import an electronic statement from your bank. See the online help for more detail. First, enter the date the bank statement was printed in the Statement Date field. This date is used for reference only. Select the Status checkbox to indicate the transaction listed also appears on your bank statement. Clear transactions will be removed from the list after you change to the next accounting period. Enter a single interest income amount into the interest income field, then select a date and general ledger account. To enter multiple amounts, select the Adjust button. Enter a single service charge amount into the service charges field, then select a date and the general ledger account. Enter the statement ending balance of the account as shown on your bank statement. 
The unreconciled difference field displays the difference between the statement ending balance and the general ledger balance, less outstanding checks, plus deposits in transit. When all transactions listed on the bank statement are entered and cleared in Peachtree and outstanding transactions have been accounted for, this value should be zero. Finally, we'll talk about backing up and restoring your company data in Peachtree. You are highly encouraged to do so on a regular basis in order to avoid loss of vital information in case of events such as fire, computer theft, or computer hard drive damage. You can also back up to a remote server using Peachtree's online backup service. Backing up creates one file that includes all company information and customized forms present at the time the backup was made. To make a backup of your company, select File, Backup, or select Backup from the Company Navigation Aid. To restore your company, select File Restore. Restoring a company replaces all information in the open company with the information in the backup file. You can restore the company data, customized forms, web transactions, or all three. Because all company data files are interrelated, you cannot restore individual files within a company. A number of additional learning resources can be found under the Help menu in Peachtree. For example, select Show Me How To to select from a number of different training videos. And as you become more familiar with Peachtree, you may have ideas for how we can improve it for your business. If so, please share them with us by selecting Product Feedback from the Customer Support and Service menu.